Thank you. I've been running around like crazy all day. Oh, dude, no. It's... I'm happy to be here, man. Ah. I'm excited. You don't have to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Podcasts are kind of like... They're for people that are already well-established, and that is not what I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am not that. I'm not those things. Put the mic about, like, like eight about, inches. Uh, about yay? I would put your... Uh, male member on it, and, and use it as a uh, a as measuring a, tool. As yeah. a measuring stick. Yeah. Yes, that's a that's a generous assumption that you just made there. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. I'm squeezing the ether. I'm sipping the juice. We're drinking that dude that ain't Pamela Moe. Straight from my ass up and into my core. Don't want that noise. It's fucking annoying for you to enjoy. Centrifugal force, I'm eating all evidence, knocking at doors. My pressure is evident, diamond or source, squeezing my ether right now. Yeah, podcast. Podcast. Last time we we didn't do a podcast. This is the first time. Okay, so this is Rob. Um, hey, hey, I called you Rob 3.0 in my phone. I, is it because you know two other Robs and, and I fall last out of the? No, I, I don't remember why, <laughs> actually. <laughs> so, but in, I, in my defense, <laughs> shut up for a second. In my defense, uh, 3.0 is the best out of 1 to, to it's, 2.0. It's like the best version. It's yes, like exactly. all the, it's, it's been like debugged and everything. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, cool. It's garbage. All of it's garbage, Absolute though. trash, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, to keep with the, the theme of the channel, garbage. Garbage. Which is kind of like the, everything in here. Like my life as I, well. Hey. That's, that's, I mean, that's why, I guess that's why we're all here. We're just garbage people floating through space. Yeah, like minded for, Looking for other garbage, yeah. Last time we, we really talked like some serious business, like possible movie score information. Oh, I remember that. Remember I that? do remember that, yeah. What was the, what was the premise again? What the fuck was it? We... We were talking about... It's like when you get on a roll like that, when you're spitballing just pure gold, like if you're not, if you, if you're not just writing it down, like sometimes it just goes into the universe and it's just gone yeah. forever. And then and somebody the else snatches it, it. I know. Yeah. It might, it's funny because my dad's like, oh, you know what that is? It's the conscious stream of thought. <laughs> There's a stream of thought and people poop their heads in there. And then they pull an idea out, and he thinks he's a genius. It's just super profound. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like, I, I think I incorporated like like genetical testing, genetic testing. Genetical. The, that's that's. On, <laughs> hey, speaking of that, have did you hear in the in the news in the in the news webs lately uh -huh. about the like gene testing, gene modifying of two twins in China? Have you heard that shit? Oh shit, I haven't heard that in the news web. So. It, it's like it, it kind of hits home for us, too, because there's like a professor at Rice that's like Chinese. under investigation. I'm Chinese. That was involved in it. Oh. And, and you're Chinese. That's it. Yeah. So, so what happened? So the backstory Whoa. was um, in China, there are much more lax like ex experimentation laws. Yeah. It's yeah. like human testing. And this these group of scientists and apparently this guy from Houston – for the last like two or three years, they developed a set of living twins. They're they're like 18 months old currently, that are now their genes have been modified to be resistant to like HIV and AIDS. So it's like a super good, uh, I guess, application for yeah. like gene modification. But the whole science community, when they like came out with this this study and these results like flip shit they like lost their mind so so like the implications would be it's kind of a slippery slope but like once it gets beyond scientific applications like what if like yeah. the houston rockets start like dumping a bunch of money Gene into this splicing. and you've now got like eight foot seven james harden oh, shooting shit. fadeaways from half court like we don't but, know what happened. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We good recruiting class, I guess. I don't know. We just kept finding so, eight foot tall uh, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Like every eighteen years, they just came along. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> and don't check that back room with all those petri dishes. And ignore that room. So. Pretty soon they're gonna have like a twenty three and me. You can just mail in a tube of your sperm and eggs. 
yeah. and then they'll and then gene like, splice your kids and send them back yeah in like nine and a half months you get this little newborn baby i don't know why nine and a half <laughs> precisely but it takes a little longer it takes a little longer than that in the but microwave yeah they just like mail like like ups <laughs> or like first overnight class, animal first class mail or something. animal shipping yeah yeah <laughs> here's here's your perfect baby oh so, geez yeah. Something like that. You know they're <laughs> so, going to... So, yeah. And we've come full circle. Yeah. yeah. You know they're going to do something. Because now that it's done, it's never going to be undone. Right. There, there's always going to be someone under the surface doing this shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, because... Rich you, people? A hundred percent. They're secret governments? Secret government babies? Yes. That are resistant to all diseases? That's going to fuck everybody. Because then we're... They're, is, is that not like the ultimate weapon? Like... Kind of, but then I feel like the diseases would like ramp themselves up even more. Yeah. To counteract that, and then they would finally get through. So the common cold to them would be like full blown cancer and AIDS mixed together. Yeah, and you've got like like eight hours to live once you get it. It's the it's cancer like that AIDS. Aggressive. Yeah, can, <laughs> can cancer cold flu AIDS. Cancer cold flu, <laughs> pig AIDS. <laughs> pig AIDS. Monkey AIDS. That's normal AIDS, actually. That's just regular AIDS. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll be watching YouTube, and then there's, like, an, an ad for... I've seen, like, nine politicians doing ads. One of them's got an eye patch. That's cool. An eye patch? Yeah. Um, I thought it was a little goofy, but the guy's a veteran. Um, oh, I take that back. My sarcastic tone. I, feel I know. Like an asshole now. <laughs> I, well, <laughs> what idiot wears an eye patch I in this see- campaign? <laughs> oh, a veteran. Okay. Oh, an actual need for the iPad. Yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw. Well, I was in like the back country and stuff, and I saw um, images like, like, like posters of him, and he. It's just all black and white, and it looks like he looks like a pirate. He looks like a pirate. <laughs> and, now you're the asshole. I didn't say that. But, hey, I like pirates. <laughs> I would vote for him just because he looks like a pirate. Like he's got some edge on him, you know. All it, right, I can, I can get behind that. Out of orange McFlurry hair, I'd rather. Have a pirate. Gotcha. Without naming names, I know exactly who you're talking about. So, so, so let's let's peel back another layer and get personal about it. Did you, did you vote? I can't take any more clothes off, dude. I'm already in the nude. <laughs> <laughs> That's more than our viewers need to know. Is it metaphorical? That was supposed to be special between you and I. <laughs> I was supposed to <laughs> take the the edge off of the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. So who'd you vote for? Is that illegal? I I've been told it's like a like there there are certain questions you don't ask. Like how much uh, money do you make? Does the carpet match the drapes? Who'd you vote for? That's like the trifecta right there. How old are you? Does it hang low? <laughs> what all do- things I think you should ask. Absolutely. On a first date, absolutely. Yes, those are icebreakers. <laughs> Like I always ask women how hang they how low they hang, how low it hangs, yeah, or just how's it hang? Whatever something hangs, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you got that hangs, how is it? Tell me about it. <laughs> Sounds like a a terrible. Hey baby, <laughs> whatever you got that hangs, how is it? Eh? I'm I'm telling I'm letting you know right now. I don't care what it is. I'm cool with it. <laughs> I just want to know the state that it's in. How is it? I'm worried about it. I want to know about it. Tell me about your hangy, hangy danglies. Your, your mom's been calling. I worry about you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. It's, Never mind. I'm not going to continue. <laughs> See, so that 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 that's why I I like hanging out because like we get to we talk about the important stuff. This is we exactly, get down to the important matters. Exactly what needs to be talked about in this today's climate. In all climates, really. <laughs> in all climates. So, by the way, you know what? I just realized that we totally blew, blew through, and 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 I'm being a first time guest on on your show. I figured at this point we were going to have to make some sort of shameless, like, like sponsorship plug. Oh, hell yeah. But w- is that coming? Is that... <laughs> or are you above that? Are you are you not a slave to the corporate sponsorship? Oh, no, absolutely. Plug? We get tons of sponsors on this show, dude. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? I'm, just, so... I'm just waiting for that. Sh- I'm ready to sell myself. Plug me. I'm ready to be plugged. <laughs> In what way? In only the best way that a, a corporate sponsor... Hey, man, we're already naked. Let's do it. Totally metaphorical, by the way. I'll fucking roll with it for a fake sponsor. But um, 
We only get real sponsors on this show. <laughs> like the best Hanes. I'm sure Hanes is is wanting to. They're desperate to get all over this. Oh yeah, fruit but, of, fruit of the loom maybe. <laughs> Low hanging fruit of the loom. See, there you go. <laughs> or or instead of Hanes, it's Harms. <laughs> they make specifically dangerous uh, products for babies. I, I don't want to be involved with that. I said I was ready. I'm not ready for that. Oh, that's, that's Johnson and Johnson. That's it. Yeah, they, that already exists. The less popular company, Dick and Dick. Dick and Dick. Yeah. <laughs> Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> Ow. I don't. I don't want to be the reason that you lose any sponsorships. I want to come back, dude. There's there's nothing we could say on this on this podcast. The worse, the better. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, you got to get that shock factor. Yeah, so basically, what I'm I'm gonna give you some homework. Basically, you need to start brainstorming some product lines. Okay. Some I already got it. I already got something, got it. Got dude. It. I just can, remembered. Can you lay it on me, or is it like too soon to unveil it to the uh, world? No, nah, hell no, dude. Let's I got it right it. here, baby. Hey, <sighs> do you hate fucking lion ass bitches, yo? I fucking hate it. Uh, what happens about lion ass bitches? They lie. Yeah, but. Okay, snitches get stitches, but Snitch, yeah, lying okay. ass bitches, they, you can sniff them. Hey, and who better to sniff uh, bullshit than the Bullshit Sniffer Society? Eh, ow. We sense your shit. So that's, they're giving us money and uh, check them out, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so not that that wasn't a fantastic pitch. Uh -huh. um, on the fly, Billy May style commercial there. Absolutely. But I don't, I'm not sure I understand what it is. So it's the Bullshit Sniffer Society. Okay. Oh, okay. So the image really, really shed some light on it for me. They pay you or you pay them to come sniff your bullshit? No. <laughs> <laughs> so if there's a liar in your midst, so yeah. let, 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 let's say you're on a date like we are now. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're doing, right? I mean, we're naked. I would call it a date. <laughs> First you can't date. see under the table, so yeah. from... The waist down. Anyways, so first day, <laughs> if you if you feel like things are going eh a little weird, like hey, this person might actually be a man, and not that there's anything wrong with that. No, politically correct in this climate. But but you feel like they're bullshitting you. You feel like they're not being completely honest. And hey, it's happened to me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> be, wait, being mistaken as the wrong sex or being on a date with someone whom you thought was a different sex or both? Uh, no, I've been on a date and okay. then All right. um, with a, a female that is that looked completely female. Yeah. And eh, uh, the second date, things kind of got spiced up at her place. And yeah. then she was like, before we go any further. She's like, here's the thing. I, ha I have to tell you, uh, I used to be a man. But I'm not anymore. But I'm still haven't gotten the main surgery. I'm uh, like, oh, pre, that's pre-op. That's the most important one. That's the mo well in order to continue for some, yeah. Specifically yeah. with a normal ish. Uh, anyways, I'm, I'm gonna need to unpack this a little bit. I'm gonna need to hear more about this. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> <laughs> not not that I want to derail whatever Wait, it is we were just talking about. Hold that thought. Okay, so. Uh, <clears throat> Now the bullshit sniffer society is gotcha. is okay. Um, if you're on a date and you feel like someone's kind of bullshitting you, give them a call. They'll take about thirty minutes to get there. They're kind of like the police. They got stations all over the country. They'll come sit right next to the table and just uh, and they'll be like, "I smell some bullshit." Hey man, check the pants. Check the pants. There might be some stuff in there. The pants never lie. The pants never lie. So so let me ask you this. Okay. Is this Continue. service specifically, and I, I guess I should say exclusively reserved for sniffing out deceptive pre-op transgendered <laughs> Tinder <laughs> dates? Like, I don't know. <laughs> no. or, or, or is that just a for instance? Is that? <laughs> that was just one example. Okay. And once okay. again. It's interesting that that's wrong. the example that you jumped to in your first sales pitch ever for this product. <laughs> And again, more reason experience. why I want to unpack this a little bit more. I'm just going off of experience. No, no. Okay? I, like I say, no, no, no judgment here. <laughs> I'm just fascinated, and I need to know more. I so, demand. It's with anything. If you think the president's bullshitting you, send him up there. He'll be on stage right next to the prez. Okay. You probably have to pay him more. So once, once they sniff the shit, 
once the shit has been sniffed, what what happens next? <laughs> I, I'm just I, I'm so excited right now. So so okay. So you've paid for the service. You've called you've called the bullsh the shit sniffers. Uh -huh. that you, you've put in your time. They've shown up. Yes. They've they've used their expert service. They have They have they have confirmed that there is heavy shit in the air. What's next? Yes, they'll report back to you, much like a um, a, uh, a a secret detective. What are those called? A private investigator. A, a private investigator. See, see, we're on. See, <laughs> that was a complete swing and a miss there. A secret oh. detective, private investigator. It's like exactly. Yeah, we're, we're on the same together. page. Yeah, and. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, they're kind of like that, except they don't actually, they just tell if someone's lying and they report back to you about what it is. They don't actually get any evidence of anything ever whatsoever. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. And yep. then yep. they do have a specific, very small service. Uh, if you need to find out what type of defecation is a pile of defecation, mm -hmm. be it bull or toad or whatever, they'll know... Uh, Hell no. Sh shit is shit. <laughs> no matter what kind of dress you put on it, a turd is a turd. I don't know. Maybe might look nice in a mm. nice little two piece onesie. <clears throat> Does that make any fucking sense? <laughs> a two piece onesie? <laughs> I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Okay. Okay, so so not yes. not to dive into we won't get into the politics of it. We're Absolutely. not we're, we won't we won't get into the uh, the preferred pronouns, all that, all that stuff Absolutely in today's climate. Not. But I'm gonna need you to, to to go back to the beginning. Yeah, of course. Of the first date with the lovely transgender woman. Okay, so I was in L.A. and uh, mm, I mm. discovered lots of things in L.A. Mm. <laughs> mm. I only ever got hit on by men. One. I mean, be yeah. it not Tinder. Uh, and you there's know. nothing wrong with that. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. But, Super um, flattering. Yeah. I was a baby face. I looked like a, 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 a baby face homosexual man. <laughs> I guess uh, one could say. I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm comfortable in my sexuality. Sure. You know? Yep. Okay. And then? Um, so I, 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 I'm talking to this girl for a while. And I, I usually just have tender to just kind of meet people every once in a while. And uh, I've met a lot of cool friends on there, especially in LA, you know, you're, you're networking. So I met um, this girl and um, uh, we went on a date and then everything was fine. And then I, I, I had no red lights, uh, 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 red flags, red flags. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> so your idioms, you need to work on them. Man. I, <laughs> I just keep people guessing, yeah. keep them on their feet. I know exactly what on I'm trying their toes. to say. See, there you go. <laughs> I keep people on their butts, you know? Yep. yep. <laughs> on their cheeks. Keep people on their cheeks. Keep them on their cheeks. That's Instead it. of their feet, even though it was wrong in the first place. Yep. So the second date, um, we go out, and then I come back to her apartment, and then we're kind of we're making out. And then um, she's like, before we go any further, blah, 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 you know, yep. like I said earlier. Yeah. And um, she, like, walked to her room and then started, like, taking off her top before this. And then I was like, her back's kind of square. Maybe she, maybe she lifts a lot of maybe weights. She, yeah, maybe she does CrossFit. Something was going on there. Her back was very squarish. Yep. In a muscular way, and that's yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's fine. But um, in a manlier way, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the f the first red flag. Is that? That was that the is? only red flag. And then oh, the other, and then, the and other then one was straight up just here's my i have a i have a penis. here we go yeah okay <laughs> so and not so much a red flag at that point more of a um i don't know what you would call that i i don't know that is a good maybe question. just like a full stop like ah chica dua. Ah, that's why yeah. i got you here man <laughs> just this is exactly yeah, why yeah. so uh i was like i i came i i clap back yep i clap back i, I didn't hit a, uh, her yeah don't yeah, I don't want. We don't want to imply that you, you struck a, a female as soon as she told you that she's transitioning. You just slapped the <laughs> shit out of her or something. Wow, <laughs> I got scared. No, I was like, ah, oh, hmm. Would I do it again? Yes. Yeah. Will I? Will I continue? Hmm. No. But mm -hmm. we can be friends. Uh, and I was for the remainder of the time that I lived there. So, nice. Yeah. I, I, but for the record, uh, yeah. 
I don't give a shit. It didn't bother me. Yeah. I just could not continue. That's fine. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I, I have conversations like that all the time. Because mm-hmm. I grew up in Oklahoma, which is, uh, as you can imagine, they not... with a lot of transvestites. Uh, there's a... Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's it. That's where I was headed with that. Uh, it's crawling with, with transgendered I, people. Um, no, quite the opposite. Um, it's it's not very welcoming. It's not very open-minded, mm. as you would think. Oklahoma. Even if you've never been to Oklahoma, you can just, like, close your eyes and picture the yes. the type of people, and that's, like, perfect. You've nailed it. I was born there. I lived there for seven years. No shit. Yeah. Where? Uh, Bartlesville. Bartlesville, Oklahoma. I yeah. grew up about an hour from Bartlesville. Tulsa-ish? Stillwater. Stillwater. I know a person from Stillwater. M- oh, my me. goodness. Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. I know two people from only- Stillwater. Who do you know from Stillwater? I well, probably know them. No. Oklahoma bigots. That's where. That's what we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, lots of bigots. Um, lots we of can them. say that. They're everywhere, yes. <laughs> I, I probably met or at least encountered transgendered people from uh-huh. time to time in Oklahoma, but again, not a very welcoming uh, culture or environ- environment yeah. um, for one to be very open about their transition. So, um, no, I, I would I would have this conversation with, with some of my closer friends that I've felt more open to having these conversations about where you'd hear all the time like oh they'd they'd be dropping hard f-bombs in the in the bars and everything uh calling people fags you know being like i wouldn't let a guy hit on me that's gay (laughs) or if they know that a gay guy's around he's like he probably wants to fuck me and it's like no one in the in the world (laughs) wants to have sex with you let alone yeah a gay guy so you have nothing to worry about but yeah, no, we we would talk about things like that about like, and I would be I would tell people be like it's not a big deal like I don't care like even if I knew a guy was gay and he was hitting on me at the bar I'm like who gives a shit so what it's the, the like, uh, yeah yeah who who gives a shit yeah and, and even if I would have to imagine if I were in that situation that you were in I wouldn't care either I'd be like I appreciate you letting me know instead of just like waiting for me to find your trouser snake myself um, because that's just at that point it's just common courtesy it has nothing to do with right being accepting of all uh lifestyles and cultures right. it's like hey a heads up would have been nice <laughs> it's just not my <laughs> preference and that's okay yeah that's all it is it's a fucking preference <laughs> I'll tell you what, can I say, I don't know if you had any like notes or topics that you wanted to touch on today, but this is fantastic. This Not is, really today. I, this is absolutely perfect. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I I figured with you, I wouldn't even need to have <laughs> my list. I'm going to take that as a compliment. It's not. Oh, <laughs> fuck me. All right, that's great. <laughs> no, I guess every time.